Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in Ark Survival Evolved here on Xbox One. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, I had a lot of you guys asking a bunch of questions about the game. <clears throat> and so, um, uh, I've answered a lot in the qu uh, comment section. And so, I want you guys to go ahead and, and keep asking, and I will keep trying to answer them. Um, one of the big things people were asking is, how do you get into like the K mode that you see on Xbox or on uh, PC? And to do that, you hold down the, I want to call it the select button. Uh, it's the one with the two little windows on it. You hold that down and then you get this map. And this is kind of like a hot bar thing too. But you just go to the orbit camera and there you go. Uh, there's also, there was another one. Nope, not that. I'm trying to remember now. Left trigger. Nope. No. Oh, well, I don't remember it right now. That is okay. What we need to do today is we need to continue our shelter. We need to continue to gather food. Um, there's, there's a couple of things that we need to get done. So for right now, I am, let's see how much fiber I have. I have 54 there. Do you have any on you? You don't. All right. So fiber collection is got to be uh, kind of a priority because we're going to do some building today. And then, um, I want, am I high enough level yet? Sorry. Um, how do I get in my inventory? There we go. Uh, am I high enough level yet to get into a smithy? So not yet. Looks like it's level 25. And what level are we? We're 18. So we're not far off. Maybe once we get some of this building done today, we might actually hit that. I still absolutely... It's been uh, about a week since I've played because I've been away. Um, and I still absolutely love this spot that we chose, or that I chose. Um, I definitely find it really, really cool. And then, you know, just great spot to gather berries. Like, look at this. How cool is this? You can come up and walk through here walk on the rocks like this this is definitely reminds me of elephant rock back in the days climbing on the rocks back in missouri a lot of you guys actually told me that you uh, knew about that and uh, had gone to there and uh, lived by there i found that really cool i used to go there all the time when i was a kid i haven't been in, in years i mean literal years uh but i always find it really cool to to hear about that so those of you that watch the Xbox version and might not watch everything else, Merry Christmas. Uh, we uh, had just gotten home a couple of days ago, um, and uh, yeah, it was a good time. We, we enjoyed ourselves. I got uh, a couple of Marvel books, uh, like one's an encyclopedia of like all the different Marvel characters, and then one's a, uh, like, um, a history of the Marvel characters, which I find that really cool. And then uh, I also bought for myself a GTX 970, uh, which uh, I was rather excited about. And it's supposed to get here today. So you can guarantee that as soon as this video is done, I'm going to be waiting by the front door uh, for that sucker to get here. So I'm really excited about that. I, I, I'm rocking a 760 right now. And, you know, it's it's been okay. Um, but, you know, it's... It's not been the greatest. I'm sure you guys see that in the video quality all the time. What's going to drive us short there? Is it going to be the wood? Uh, yeah, it looks like it could be the wood or it could be the thatch. But most likely it's going to be the wood. Level up. Awesome. All right. Sounds like my Xbox sounds have slightly disappeared. I don't know if that's... Something I did or not. Uh, let's see. Uh, movement speed. What do we have everything? We have weight at 200, movement speed at 110. Stamina. That's what I'm going to boost. And then I don't think we unlocked anything real special. 
I don't think that... Do we have access to the Stego saddle yet? Oh, large storage box. Uh, trike saddle. Bielsa Buffalo saddle. What level is the Stego? Let's see. Stego. Requires level 30. Wow. That is a... That is a really high level. Now, let me turn that back down again because, you know, now it's really loud in my ear. Um, for some reason, the sound's messed up in my controller. I guess that happens from time to time. Let's go ahead and swap out our Azul berries. And then we can hit A. And so we can extend our platform there, there, there. Good. So let's do one there. Uh-oh. Oh, I made a spear. Okay, so I can't put one there, so that'll be a ceiling. And a lot of you uh, new Xbox players might not actually know about some building tricks. So you notice that uh, a foundation will not snap here. So you're like, well, what do I do? Drax, wh what do I do, man? So what you're going to do is you're going to come over and you are going to go to your craftables, not your Ingrams, your craftables. You're going to craft a wood ceiling. And then you'll go and you'll check out that wood ceiling once it's made and you'll go to use. And you'll notice that the wood ceiling snaps into that spot. Yeah. Now it's not supported. Um, so I can actually put that in and it does stick up just a little bit. But you know what? If if that's what you need, then that's what you need. Uh, you can only come off two from a foundation. So I could probably get one here, but I probably wouldn't be able to put another one on there. So you can always use pillars. Uh, pillars will snap to the undersides of these and uh, give you some, some nice support and everything. Um, and then uh, I'm going to probably need to gather some more wood here. Let's see. Check everything out here. Uh, you don't have any more wood on you, do you, Stego? No, you don't. Okay, good. All right, no more wood at all. So let's go ahead and we'll start gathering some. My inventory is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty. How do I whistle again? No, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Nope. 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 I'm trying to remember the, the whistle button. Whistle, hey, whistle, hey. Oh, there it is. Whistle. So you hold B. You can whistle follow. And that'll get your, um, your, your, whatever you're looking at. You, see, you can do follow all, and that'll call all your dinos in the area. And you can follow one, and whatever dino you're looking at will follow you. You can also poop. Uh, and then let's go ahead. I don't know why I have such mass amounts of meat on me. I guess I did a lot of harvesting. So many berries and everything. Like, we should probably try and knock something out and tame it. Just keep uh, moving stuff over. You know what? Why don't we do a transfer all? If I do a transfer all and then that puts everything in that inventory and then I can just, if I need to, I'll grab out whatever I need. Actually, you know what I do need? I don't want to leave on my dino. It's my one arrow. My one arrow. For some reason, I can't leave it to my, my one arrow. All right. So if we see any dinos around, uh, something, I probably want to try and get a trike, uh, a parasaur. I could probably get a trike down much easier than a parasaur. So if we see one, we'll probably try and go for it here. <clears throat> Let's see, do we see any trikes? No trikes. My hatchet broke, so we're missing something for the hatchet. We're missing flint. 
So in another way that you guys, uh, you see that I brought up that menu down there, um, you just hold any of the directions or any, any of the item slots. You hold it, and it'll show, uh, you know, what you need to repair it or whatnot. And I got my flint, so I know that I can go ahead and repair that. And there we go. It's completely new. Uh, you're encumbered. So we're going to come over to our stego, and I'm probably going to just do a transfer all again. Not worry about our one arrow. I thought we had more arrows than that, honestly, when I had uh, done that. All right. There's another level up. Oh, I keep doing that. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit more into stamina. And then that should have put us at level 20. So 20 gets us Trank Arrows, which is awesome. It also gets us Trike Saddles, which I am looking forward to. Um, doesn't really give us too much more in the way of saddles. We got Raptor Saddles. We got Packy Saddles. I, for one, am excited about the... Um, Trank arrows, because Trank arrows are going to work similar to our uh, slingshot with rocks, but it's going to be much more effective than the slingshot with rocks. So we'll, we'll be checking that out here in a minute. Um, let's hold that down. I want to craft up some more of these foundations here. All right, so now I go up to my craftables, make a few more foundations because I want quite a bit of stuff. And then I probably can't walk around because I'm probably encumbered. Yeah, uh, if you're holding too much weight. So now that we've crafted our materials, we are able to move. And now that it's raining, actually, I can fill up my water skin, too. So that's good. And then I'm going to eat some berries. All right. So now we're going to move over back to our, our little base of operations here. I really like that tree. I really, really like that tree. Uh, so here we go. Boom. All right, so that is a three by four. Um, let's go, can I put one here? Okay, again, that's gonna have to be a spot where we, uh, where we put in a ceiling, which is no big deal. So that's a four by four. Do I have enough to make a ceiling? I don't think I do. No, I sure don't, okay. So let's go ahead and see if I have the proper materials to go ahead and make some stuff here. So let's see. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the Trank Arrows. Now, Trank Arrows uh, require narcotics, uh, which I don't think we've made many of. Uh, we need, also need the mortar and pestle, so I'll need some more stone. And then actual arrows, uh, I'm going to need flint. So I should be able to grab that and then craft up 18 of those. Okay, and then I can grab that right there. Okay, so I think I had some narcotics back at the other, um, the other little base area. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer some of this stuff over and then I'm gonna leave uh, wait, no, hold it. And my whistle stop. And then we're going to sprint back down to the, to the uh, other base that we have down here. I'm probably going to pick some berries and stuff, but we're going to sprint back down and uh, we're going to try and grab whatever I had in the mortar and pestle. Cause I think I started making narcotics. Uh, we're not far. You can probably, I mean, you can't see the base, but you can see where it was. 
And this will also give us an opportunity to get a pterodon too, which is pretty awesome. I do that every single time. Put some more stamina in here. And then uh, I don't think we got much more that we want. We'll, we'll save off on our ingrams until we we know there's something that we want or need. All right. So there's a Bronto. I don't think we're prepared to take out a Bronto. We might be prepared to take out this trike. Uh, I kind of want to find one a little bit closer to home, and I want to try and get those narco or um, trink arrows too. That way we can uh, get some get some good stuff going here, and show you guys how useful those really are. I'm tired. All right, so there's compies coming after me. Refill my food. Uh-uh, uh-uh. How are you not dead? Are you like the strongest compies alive? You're a level 72, that's why you're not dead. Now you're all alone. What are you going to do now, sucker? Phew. Man, those compies. I tell you what. Those are probably the most devastating creatures on the island when you're first starting out. Or at least I've found. And I don't know if that's just the Xbox version or what. But it definitely leave a mark. And it's it's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Having to, having to deal with those guys. All right, so one trick that I've always learned, um, or always had in my head, I don't know if it's an actual trick or not, but you can lay down, and you can get your stamina back a lot faster by laying down than you can just by standing still. Now, I don't know. I've never tested it, like, legit. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's just me. Um, a lot of you guys are asking if... Um, if I prefer Xbox or PC when it comes to ARK, uh, and frankly, PC. Um, now, and that comes down to I have a decent computer. I have a, a pretty darn co good computer that can uh, run ARK fairly well. And so, you know, I'm going to prefer it over there. I prefer the keyboard and mouse personally and whatnot. So if you don't have a good computer, if you just have, you know, a... a a crappy Dell or something like that that has been in your family for years and you guys, you know, don't really do anything with it, um, then you're probably not going to be able to play ARC quite as well. And so I would say probably stick to the Xbox because at least you can play it. Uh, you might be a few versions behind over time or what have you, but at least you're getting to play the game. In my opinion, at least. Did I craft that? No, there it goes. All right, so let's see. Did we have anything in that one? We did not. Anything in here? Oh, we had spark powder in here. Which we will take. And then we're going to do some a ceiling. I'm going to do the rest in walls. I'm actually curious. What am I out of on walls? Oh, still wood. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then we can craft a few more arrows here. And you know what else we can do? I don't know if we'll be able to make them while we're over here. We can learn some of this other hide armor. Oh yeah, we can make every bit of that. Which is awesome. Everything is awesome. All right. Swap those out for some gloves. Swap those. Oh, wait. No, that's just going into the inventory. Let me get out of that and then come into my own inventory. 
There we go. Now we are wearing all good armor. So that's inventory 42 charcoal. I don't think I'm going to take the charcoal. You know, Destroyer, I hope you have a good life here. <laughs> I hope you have a good life here because I'm not going to wait for you to follow me all the way back up here to uh, our new place. Knock him out. Knock him out. Oh, come on. Get knocked out. Get knocked out. Oh, what about a Fiomia? Are you going to get knocked out? Oh, my club broke. He's running like he's shuffling like none other. Beat him. Get knocked out. Are you even... Oh, my club broke again. Wow. Pass out, you dang Fiomia. I know it'd be better to hit him in the head, but... I thought he'd at least take some damage from this. He's totally just stuck in this tree. Like, 110% just stuck in the tree. Oh, he got knocked out. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and give him some berries. I might stick around here long enough to uh, to get this guy tamed up here. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop that, that, and that. So the taming's not going to take too terribly long here, so I'm going to start gathering some more berries. Let's see. Now, Fiomia is going to be nice because I can actually ride the Fiomia, and they can... They can haul a decent amount. Uh, they're not really good for defense. Where and that's where I want to get a trike. You know, they're they're relatively quick, and uh, I think they'd be really good for defending themselves and me. Stegos are good too, but stegos have such a wide turning radius that they uh, they get on my nerves. All right, some more of those, some more of those, some more of those. Put some tintos in there. And yeah, he's going to tame up in no time. Level 60, too. Level 60 as well, I should say. Uh, just a little bit more in the way of stamina. Um, and then... I don't think... Yeah, we're not into the next grouping here yet. Fiomia. Fiomia. There's Parasur. Fiomia. There we go. We can make one of those bad boys up here pretty soon. All right. I was not expecting to tame a Fiomia today, but you know what? That works out for me just fine. Could do for a turtle too, but they are like, you want to talk about a slow dino. Turtles are a slow dino. Alright. Some more measures, some more of that, some more of that. Do I have enough on me currently? I do, to make the Fiomia saddle. Awesome! All right, so let's we're going to work our way up into the woods here just a little bit so I can try and get some uh, more measures, more measures. Can just kind of walk through here and press on Y as much as I want. 
So it's times like this where I get annoyed by the Xbox controller. I, I normally I'm, I'm okay with it. Is this compy mean? Um, but like I'm pressing Y and I have no way to move my camera. Honestly, like I have to stop pressing Y to move my camera, or I have to stop moving, moving. All right, we got those guys. It scared me for a second. Not gonna lie. Where's our Fumia? There he is. He or she? Are you a male or are you a female? You are a male. All right, I'm gonna drop some of these seeds because I don't plan on doing anything with the seeds just yet. Don't need the stems, don't need the raw meat. Let me just put the uh, the weight on that one. Yeah, he should uh, he should tame up here pretty soon. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. So that's one of my gripes about the Xbox controller. And there's, what are you gonna do? I mean, you only have so many hands. I mean, um, I guess if you had like the elite controller, you could like remap some stuff. Um, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's just it's just a little annoying that you. Uh, I mean, you can't gather with any other button. And I guess any other button would be much louder. I don't know. I don't know if there is a better way to uh, to remap than the way that it is. All right, let's see. He's going to gain 27 levels, so he'll be like at a level 87 or something like that when um, when he'll get tamed up, which is really good. In my opinion, at least. Man, he's just eating like crazy. I forget that about the Fiomias. I haven't tamed one in so long. But I tell you what, if there's ever a fight, that Fiomia's probably screwed. I'll tell you that much. All right. And another thing, um, a suggestion for you guys. I know a lot of people are starting uh, to play Ark because a lot of people got it for Christmas. Um, and on the PC version, we're actually in Winter Wonderland right now. So my suggestion to you is stick to the beaches. Stick to the southern beaches, I think, uh, is best. Um, they're much warmer down there. And uh, you, you'll be just fine, most likely. Um I know a lot of people, a lot of people are having trouble with it just because, you know, they're new and they don't they don't understand that you have to worry about weather and temperature and whatnot. If we keep going here, he's going to get all tamed up. Let's take a sip. Still 27 levels, which is good. I won't have to use any... Um, narcs on him which is awesome or narco berries or anything like that what level is the strike 32 i kind of want to find something a little higher level like i said i, I want to get into the trikes uh into the narcotics and uh, trink arrows a little bit there's our fiomia we shall call you the ride you are the ride a ride the ride. Are you still stuck in that tree, homie? You still stuck in that tree. All right, so we're going to equip a saddle now, and a lot of people have been asking how you do that. So you select it by highlighting it. You just hit A, and then you come up here to that slot. And now I have a saddle. Break the tree. There it is. All right, so I'm over encumbered. Uh, show inventory. Nope. All right, let's drop these, and I'll tell you what. Let's. Uh, oh yeah, that's 
it's X to open the inventory while you're on the dyno. All right, so there he's running. Not running very fast. Let's drop some more stuff here. Let's drop that. You know, he doesn't have a whole lot of weight. Uh, I think 256. But, uh, you know, this is no longer going to take away our stamina. This is no longer going to take away any of our stats to ride this guy. So this is why I like having mounts when you're, uh, you know, running through arc. Now, this guy, I don't know if he's running any faster than us. To me, it would kind of seem like he's running a little bit faster than what we do. But he can't jump or anything. Probably can't fit through tight corridors because he's he's a little heifer um but we should be able to get back up there and uh, hopefully we'll make our way on to level 30 uh what level are we at 22 so we got eight levels to go uh we're cold so the fiomi is tired the best thing to to get their stamina back is actually to get off of them their stamina will rise and then if he's following you you just run until your stamina's out. This is when they're low level, when you don't have any stats boosted. But you pretty much just run until your stamina's out. And his stamina should be completely full again. Because the way it works is dinos that are unmounted don't take uh, any stamina. Um, unless they're in water, I think. No, maybe it's not even in water. Um, also, dinos that are unmounted don't take fall damage. So if you're jumping off a big cliff like the one in front of us, you can actually jump off right right before you hit the ground, like perfect timing, and you can actually keep you or your dino from taking fall damage. So that's actually a neat little trick. Can this guy not gather berries? No, maybe he's not a berry. A berry catcher. But you can see we're out of stamina here again. Doesn't take long, especially on the low level guys. But that is okay. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. We have tamed a Fiomia. We are kings of the Ark so far. If you guys have any questions concerning the Xbox version, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I will gladly get to them. For now, my name is Drax, and I'll see you in the next one.